Welcome to myprojectbazaar.com Our product title is W Fit Induction Generator for Wind Energy Conversion Systems with Integrator Active Filter Capabilities. Let us see about the upstock of our product. In this proposed implementation is a W Fit Induction Generator for Wind Energy Conversion Systems deals with the operation of W Fit Induction Generator with an Integrator Active Filter Capabilities using Grid Side Converter. The main contribution of this work lies in the control of grid side converter for supplying harmonics in addition to its slip power transfer to the rotor side converters that is used for attaining maximum power extraction and to supply record reactive power to TFIG. Wind energy conversion system works as a static compensator for supplying harmonics even when the wind turbine is in sundown conditions. Control algorithm of both grid side converter and rotor side converter are presented in detail. Implemented project TFIG based wind energy conversion system is simulated using MATLAB simulating. A prototype of the proposed DFIG based wind energy conversion system is developed using a digital signal processor. The wind energy is preferred for all renewable energy sources. In the initial days, wind turbines have been used as a fixed speed wind turbines with a scroll gauge induction generator and capacitor banks. Most of the wind turbines are fixed speed because of their simplicity and low cost. Next we see about flow diagram of our process. This is our flow diagram. In this flow diagram the input source is a DFIG fed wind turbine. After that the power grid is connected with the TFIG. In between the end of the power grid uh, the nonlinear load is connected at the point of coupling. In between with DFIG and power grid the STATCOM is connected that is the rotor side converter and grid side converter is act as a STATCOM. In this proposed implementation is based on the uh, client required. then the flow only we did. Uh, so in the main paper is considered as a reference. So the in the Grid side converter and rotor side converter we using uh, space vector pulse width modulation technique for the converter switches. After that, in the non-linear loads, we know that uh, the rectification process is done in using our diode rectifier. In the load, we using capacitor and resistor and inductor loads. Finally, the buffer grid is connected into the DFIG, and also in the point of coupling area only the nonlinear load is connected and the overall DFIG wind turbine is deliver the more power into the power grid and also it's controlled by the grid side converter and rotor side converter and also generally wind turbine are used to generate electricity from the kinetic power of the wind Historically, they were more frequently used as a mechanical device to tan machinery. There are two main kinds of wind generators, those with a vertical axis and those with a horizontal axis. Wind turbines can be used to generate large amount of electricity in wind farms, both onshore and offshore conditions. The terms wind energy or wind power describe the process by which the wind is used to generate mechanical power or electricity. Next, we see about running process of our product. In this proposed implementation is done in MATLAB simulating environment. First of all, we open the MATLAB window and create a new model file. After creating the new model file, we are arranging the elements as per the circuit diagram. So, in the elements is getting from the simulating library browser. After getting from that elements, then arrange the elements as per the circuit diagram. So, after that, we click the run icon. Then, the corresponding connector scope is shown the corresponding output waveforms. So, first is the DST waveform. So, for the input source, so DST level is 0 0.044. First, this is very, very low compared to the other techniques. And the next one is the 
P A B C in bus 575 KV and next one is the I A B C for 575 KV bus and next one is the 120 KV bus voltage and current waveform and last one is the 25 KV bus voltage and current waveform and this is the real and reactive power is calculated from the grid side and the next one the VDC voltage this is the DC link is connected between the grid side converter and rotor side converters and the next one is the omega or that is the speed range in the unit of per unit and the next one the uh, grid side voltage waveform and this is the VGABC auto filtering and this is the high GABC and this is the corresponding current waveform from this process we can conclude that the overall TST will be reduced using of this statcom and also the grid side converter and rotor side converter is act as a statcom so overall TST value will be reduced thank you for watching this video